would you do if the very thing that's meant to protect you became a daily challenge? It's like ignoring a light jacket when the boat is sinking. In this video, we delve into the lives of HIV patients who face the tough choice of stopping their medication either intentionally or by chance, and what that means for their future. Let's dive in. Hello everyone, I'm Abhishek, a specialist pharmacist in HIV and sexual health. Think back to the story of the Titanic, a ship believed to be unsinkable, relying on the best technology of the time. Yet, one wrong decision to ignore the iceberg warnings and continue at full speed turned a promising voyage into a historic disaster. Now, think of your HIV medication. It represents the best defense we have against the virus today. Yet, managing such a regime can be challenging. And sometimes, individuals might find themselves struggling with side effects, financial issues, or simply a desire for a break. But what does that mean for you and your body? And what are the risks? When you stop treatment for HIV, the virus can come back very quickly. This is because without antiretroviral therapy, HIV starts to multiply again, weakening your immune system. It's not just a theory. Research shows that when people stop taking their ART, their viral load, that the amount of HIV in the blood, goes up, and their CD4 cells, which help protect the body from illness, eventually starts to go down. Over time, virus leads to inflammation in the body, increasing the risk of other health health conditions like kidney disease, diabetes, bone disease, liver disease, cognitive disorders, and even some types of cancer. But wait, there's two more things to consider. Number one, resistance. Imagine you stop taking your blood pressure tablets. What do you think happens to your BP? It will shoot up, right? But when you start taking your tablets again, it usually goes back down. But HIV medication doesn't work that way. When you stop and start treatment or take them at different times, the amount of medicine in your body can go up and down. If the medicine level gets too low, it may not be enough to keep the virus suppressed. And the virus can simply start to multiply. And the virus that multiplies in the presence of the drug can become resistant to it. So in future, when you start to take your treatment correctly, it might not be effective. And this could limit your future treatment options. Number two is drug interactions. Let's Let's just say you're taking your tablets as prescribed and on time. But then, another doctor starts medication for depression or heartburn without realizing that you are on HIV tablets. These medications can sometimes interfere with your HIV medication and may lower the levels of HIV medicine in your body. Again, if the level gets too low and the virus starts to multiply, it can make it easier for the HIV virus to become resistant to the treatment. So, it's really important to tell your pharmacist and doctor about all the medications you take to make sure they all work well together. But our story doesn't end on a down note. Many patients who restart treatment after a gap can recover and do well, though sometimes with complications. The key takeaway? Stopping HIV treatment by yourself poses serious risks. And any changes to your treatment plan should always be guided by your doctor. If you're struggling with your treatment, don't stop abruptly. Seek help and explore your options safely. That's it for today, everyone. If you found this information valuable, please consider subscribing for more insights. And don't hesitate to reach out if you need support or have any questions. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe, folks.